a powerful cold front at that. And so an unsettled Sunday afternoon. If you have to get out there or do any errands, I would say this morning is your best bet. I think we'll start to see actually temperatures rise pretty nicely and warmer than yesterday, but then we'll start to track a few of those showers. Maybe even a rumble of thunder or two, believe it or not. Windy and brisk as we take it into Monday and Tuesday, then mid to late week, we're looking at a dry and very cool pattern, and windy conditions will stay with us for at least the next two to three days, so keep that in mind. Temperatures across the area a little bit better than yesterday morning. Yesterday, we had some 30s to start things off. Now you're looking at 48 for Martinsburg. Good morning to you. 50 for Hagerson. Frederick, you're at 41. St. Gaithersburg at 47. 52 for the district. Annapolis, a little bit warmer by a degree. 53. So I'm showing you the winds because yesterday the direction it was a little bit different. Now we're starting to see it push in from the south. So with this southerly flow, we'll start to see a warming trend. Briefly, I should say, uh, because we are going to be seeing things cool down here. But I think that we will get into the 60s this afternoon. I had to show you the winds, though, because these are wind gusts projected as we head into the evening hours. So check this out. Gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour, 38 miles per hour, and 40 miles per hour there for Cumberland. So a powerful cold front. With that being said, we do have a wind advisory in play, and that goes into effect around 9 a.m. till about 7 p.m., mostly for western Maryland and then down across western Virginia and West Virginia as well. Well, they could have gusts up to around 50 miles per hour. So notice that we're dry right now. Clouds across the area zooming out here. There is that cold front stretching all the way from the Great Lakes down through the Midwest, the Central Plains. It's past there now, but all the way down to the southern states as well. We'll start to see those showers push in across the area. So warming up. I think maybe to submit to even upper 60s, you'll start to feel that breezy conditions uh, increase as we head throughout the afternoon and definitely the evening hours. Wanted to show you the future cast to help you time out your Sunday. Notice maybe a few isolated showers across the area. Really nothing. I think the first half of this day, you're A-OK -okay to get out there and get things done. Just kind of cloudy. But the showers do roll in just before the dinner time hour here. Just around 5 o'clock, you'll start to see that across uh, Washington County and then pushing into Frederick County and then obviously passing through Montgomery County and along I-95, just like we saw yesterday, it starts to set up a nice line of steady rain. So it could get up to a, a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain in some places. It moves out of here so quickly. It takes the clouds with it. It clears out and temperatures tonight, I think that will fall a little bit colder to some 30s once again. Then you tack on the wind and the wind chill will make it feel much colder tomorrow morning. So prepare for that. I had to show you the next seven days. So 67 for today, those showers, maybe a thunderstorm rolling in throughout the afternoon hours. Windy and brisk for your Monday. The wind continues. A deep trough will really develop uh, across the area. So colder air in place, leaving us with a high temperature on Wednesday of only 46 degrees. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then some near to above average temperatures return for the next weekend. All right, and just a reminder.